Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're going to discuss our third piece of the writing a workout puzzle, and that is your rest period. I think this is highly underrated. Um, I think people grab a lot of 5x5 five five programs on the internet, and they don't really think about how much rest they're actually using and how efficient their training session actually is. Um, but if, especially if you want to lose weight like or, or get more endurance, it's very important to pay attention to your rest period. So what does this allow? Rest period lets my body recover. And so if I have a set that is really, really challenging, I'm going to need a longer period of time to recover from that. Let's say uh, here's another example, a really long rest between workouts. So let's say I do a pretty hard strength workout in the morning. And eight hours later, I'm finally recovered and ready to do some sort of cardiovascular workout at night. Right. That might be another way to look at this. The simpler way when you're writing your own little workout is to just say, OK, what kind of rest will be enough for me to maximally stress the one training adaptation that I want? So if I'm trying to get stronger, I got to rest a lot because I got to do the most weight possible. Uh, if I'm trying to get faster and I need to move as fast as possible, anything that any little tiny imperceptible fatigue can limit my speed of movement. So I need to be very particular about that. I need to rest probably a lot longer than I feel like I should. Um, if I'm just, you know, if I have a 10 person team that's running through a ladder, I'm not really working on my speed that much because I'm going to just start getting fatigue. So, you know, you do the, the ladder is like the little foot thing where you're you're stepping in and out and whatever. Um, if I have any element of fatigue, I'm, you know, fatiguing my uh, foot speed. I'm slowing down my foot speed. And if the goal is maximal foot speed, then I'm not getting it. Now, I would also say that is also just a pre-programmed exercise thing that probably isn't doing anything that you want it to do, but that's not uh, the video we're talking about today. Um, strength. So I got to rest a lot. Power. I got to rest maybe even more, um, at least than it feels like. What about something like hypertrophy? So hypertrophy, the goal is to get the most stressful reps that I can. And so if I'm going to do a set of five by five, I want that five by five each set to be like a nine or eight or nine or 10 RPE where I get really fatigued. But if I go again in 60 seconds, I'm not going to be recovered and I'm not going to be able to stay at that top weight that is maximally deforming my muscles. So I need to rest maybe two or three minutes instead, maybe even five minutes if I'm really strong so that my body can come back and I can still get something out of the next set. What if we get toward more endurance or more uh, cardiovascular gains? Well, in that case, I actually want rest periods that keep me fatigued because the goal is to deal with the fatigue. It's to teach my body to find other ways to make more blood vessels, whatever, to clear out byproducts, to get energy into the muscle and, and the negative stuff out of the muscle so that it can keep functioning. It's not about functioning at this really high level. It's not about using heavy, heavy weights. It's not about using uh, really fast speeds. It's just about continuing to go. So my my intensity here is like um, it's it's much more limited. It's maybe about 50, 60 percent. Um, but I kind of keep going uh, throughout the, this entire workout. And the goal is to fight off the fatigue. So I need a rest period that will allow for some fatigue, but not so much that I can't keep going. If I just did bench presses straight, one set straight for an hour, my muscles would fatigue really, really quickly. Even if I just did my arms, like it's not really doing much because the muscle has this rhythmic contracture to it. And that change in pressure inside the muscles, what kind of disperses some of those energy byproducts. So I need that to get things to move. So if I'm looking for cardiovascular gains, a better way to do it is to do it in a circuit, not just do bench presses, right? Um, and that allows one specific muscle group to not be my limiter. Instead, I can get 
cardiovascular stress by using all of my muscles, not necessarily at the same time, but uh, reciprocally back and forth and back and forth. So if you're not planning and abiding to your rest periods, you're missing a huge portion of your, your workout. So if, if some workout that you've written already isn't really working, I would, I would caution you to look at those rest periods. Are those rest periods appropriate and are you actually sticking to them?